Hey there, Hadsta. Welcome to Kalana Yoga. My name is Shauna, and I will be guiding you through today's practice. This class is iron yoga. We may or may not be using weights, and if we are using weights, always feel free to put them down at any time. They are absolutely optional. We are here to build strength, build length, have a great workout, get sweaty, and best of all, feel beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. This is a recording of a live class. If you wish to join us on our live classes, please reach out to me at kalanayoga.com where you'll see the schedule and the opportunity to sign up. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. So tonight's class is going to be iron yoga. As always, weights are always optional. So you can choose to use them. You can choose whatever size you want. I will be using five pounds tonight. And you can also choose to put them down at any time. Just make sure you are moving mindfully and paying really close attention whenever you're using weights in your workout. All right. Let's get started in a seated position. So come down to your mat, find your sit bones, cross your legs, or find whatever seated position is comfortable for you. Sit nice and tall, reach the crown of your head to the sky, engage through the core, and close your eyes. Take a big inhale through the nose and exhale, sigh it out. Take another longer, deeper inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it all go. And take your longest, fullest, deepest inhale yet. Invite in as much air as you possibly can into your lungs. Pause when you reach the top. And exhale, let it all go. Allowing your palms to rest on your knees. Roll your shoulders all the way up, back and down, forward, up, back and down. Beautiful. Continue to breathe in and out through the nose. And then after your next exhale, gently blink your eyes open. Beautiful. Plant your right hand on the mat next to you and inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky. Stretch into your left side body, gently begin to bend slightly toward the right side of your mat, engaging through the core, rooting down through your left sit bone, feeling a nice stretch along the left side body. Inhale, slowly push yourself back up to center. Root your left hand down to the mat beside you and reach your right arm to the sky. Feel the stretch along the right side body. Reach up and slightly over. Root down through the right sit bone. Bend only as far as it feels comfortable, engaging through the core to meter out how far you bend. Inhale as you slowly push yourself back up to a seat. Take your left hand and place it on your right knee. Take your right hand and place it at the base of your spine. Inhale, sit nice and tall, engage through the core. Exhale as you slowly begin to twist toward the right. Maybe start to look over your right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center and switch sides. Place your left hand at the base of your spine and your right hand on your left knee. Inhale, reach the crown of your head up. 
and exhale as you gently begin to twist. Maybe look over the left shoulder if that feels okay. Beautiful. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, seated cat pose. Tuck your chin round the spine, pushing the vertebrae toward the back wall. Inhale, seated cow. Look up, roll your shoulders down your back, lift the collarbone. One more round, just like that. Exhale, seated cat, round the spine, tuck the chin, push the belly button toward the back wall. Inhale, seated cow, look up, broaden through the collarbone, lift the chest, and return back to your seated position. And then make your way to a tabletop. Bring both palms down to the mat, shoulders stack over wrists, and hips over knees. So take the next few breaths here to stretch out the, uh, the wrists and the ankles. So rotate one ankle at a time, going clockwise and then counterclockwise, and then switch going to the other ankle, clockwise, counterclockwise, and then take a moment to stretch out your wrists. So you can gently rock from side to side while fingers are pointing forward. You can also gently rock forward and back, keeping your core engaged and a nice little bend in the elbows to meter how much weight you're putting on your wrists. I also like to flip my wrists around so my palms face up, fingers back toward me, just one at a time, and then gently rock side to side and forward and back. If you do a lot of keyboard work throughout the day, this little wrist rotations feel really good anytime. And then switch to the other hand. Flip your right palm up, fingers point towards you, gently rock nice and slow, forward and back with control, never pushing yourself too far as you're warming up, and side to side. Beautiful. Bring your hands flat down and then point your fingers to the sides of your mat. So your left fingers point out toward the left, right fingers point out toward the right. And once again, gently rock side to side and forward and back. You don't have to make big motions here. Beautiful. And one last time, palms face down and fingers face toward you. So only do this if it feels okay. You don't have to twist them all the way around. You can choose to do one wrist at a time or both at a time, just metering how it feels. Move really slowly here, forward and back and side to side. Only move in a way that feels good. Beautiful. And then come back to a standard hand position. Fingers forward, wrist, uh, palms face down. Now we're gonna do a couple of exercises through the arms. So you have two options. If you have you know, really solid wrists and hands and you like having your hands on the mat, that is one option for you. Another option is to hold your weights in both hands and keeping your weights on the ground. So whenever you're using weights, if, as long as you're stable, it's, it's okay to have the weights in your hand. And this kind of reduces some of the pressure off of your wrists, but as long as your weights aren't going to potentially roll around underneath of you. So it's important to be really cautious and mindful if you, if you take this variation. Root down through your right hand and lift your left elbow up for a little row. Squeeze the elbow in toward the ribs, lift the weight as high as you feel comfortable, activating through the left shoulder blade, and then lower it down. Let's do that five more times. Lift, hold, squeeze, and lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Last two, lower, and one. 
lower. Beautiful. Let's try that now on the right. Reach your left, right elbow all the way up as high as you can. So the weight is maybe up close toward your right breast. Squeeze the elbow in, activate through the right shoulder blade, and then lower it down. Five more, just like that. Lift, squeeze, and lower. Lift, maybe higher, and lower. Keep the core engaged. Lift, lower. Last two, lower, and one, and lower. Beautiful. Okay, one more exercise with the arms. This time first on the left. Reach your weight directly out to the side. Now, depending on how heavy the weight is, you might not be able to reach it all the way parallel to the ground. That's okay. You can also re release the weight from your left hand if that helps. Lower it down, hover above the mat. Lift out to the side and lower. Four more. Lift. Lower with control. Lift and lower. Last two and lower. Last one. Lift and lower. That's tough. Let's do it on the right side. Make sure I have a little room here. Squeezing through the core to make sure your spine is nice and engaged the entire time. Lift your right hand out. Let's hold it for a breath here. Activating through the belly button and lower it down to hover. Five more. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Last two, lower, and one, lower. Great job. Next, we'll do a couple things on the lower half of the body. Now for these, again, if you have wrist uh, soreness every once in a while, then you can choose to keep your, your um, fists on the weights, but you can also choose to put your hands flat on the mat if that feels more stable for you. Activate through your right glute. Lift your right heel up to the sky, thigh parallel to the ground, right foot flexed. Beautiful. Try to keep your hips level and just lifting through the thigh and the glute. Great job. Lower the right knee down to hover. Inhale. Exhale. Kick it back up, keeping a 90 degree angle in the right knee. And lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. Last three. Lift. And two. Lift, and one, last time, lift. Beautiful, lower the right knee down, and let's move over to the left side. Lift your left heel up, so your flat part of your foot is flat toward the sky, thigh is parallel with the mat. Try to keep the hips level. Think about having a 90 degree angle in the knee. Beautiful, squeeze that left glute and lower the left knee down just to hover. Exhale as you lift and lower. Lift, squeeze that glute and lower. Lift, lower. Two more, lift, lower. Last one, lift, lower. Beautiful. All right, last exercise on the ground. Fire hydrant. So instead of going directly back, we'll open up the hips and go out to the side. Moving slow with control, lift your right knee up directly out towards your side, still keeping that 90 degree angle. You may not get as high as your hip. That's okay. Your hips aren't fully warmed up, so don't push it. Lift the knee as high as it feels comfortable, and then hover to lower it down. Exhale as you lift. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Last two, lower and one. Beautiful, lower that right knee down. Last side, left side, lift your left knee out to the side, thinking directly lateral. Knees at a 90 degree angle, it's okay if it doesn't go super high, feel comfortable in the hip activating through the thigh. 
Lower as you hover it above your mat. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, last one, lift. Lower, beautiful. Release your weights, move them out in front of you so they're out of your way. Step your right foot back and then your left foot back, high plank, squeeze that low belly in and up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Hold it here, feel a nice stretch along the back of both thighs. And then walk out your dog, press one heel down at a time, feeling a nice stretch through the calf. And then switch to the other heel, bending the opposite knee. Repeat that just another time here and switch again. Beautiful, settle into your downward facing dog, lift your hips as high as they'll go. Roll your shoulders away from your ears, activate through the 10 fingertips, release your heels toward the mat. It's okay if they don't touch. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long, strong spine, squeeze the low belly in and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll yourself up to standing. Reach your arms to the sky, extended mountain. Exhale, gentle back bend, cactus the arms. Inhale, rise, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, long, strong spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to a high plank, lower all the way down to your belly, as slow as you can. Beautiful. Keep your elbows bent, pointed up, palms are in the mat, untuck the toes, inhale, baby cobra. Lift the chest just a little bit off the mat, putting no weight into your hands. Squeeze the elbows to the ribs and lower your chin down. Inhale, push yourself up to tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift the hips. Inhale, look forward, step forward and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long strong spine. Exhale, forward fold, lift the hips. Inhale, all the way, rise, mountain pose, arms come with us. Exhale, gentle back bend, cactus the arms, maybe push the hips a little forward. Inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank, lower all the way to the belly, as slow as you can. Inhale, baby cobra, and maybe start to put a little bit more pressure into your hands to lift the chest, keeping the elbows bent for a medium leg cobra. Lower the chin down, inhale, push yourself up to tabletop, tuck your toes, Downward facing dog. Beautiful. One more round. Inhale, look forward, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long, strong spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, mountain pose. Exhale, gentle back bend, cactus the arms, lift the chest. Inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to a high plank. Option to lower all the way down or halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Untuck the toes. Inhale, push the chest up for high cobra or upward facing dog if you lift the knees. Exhale, lower the chin down. 
Inhale, push yourself up to tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take a big breath here. And exhale, release it. Beautiful. Bring your toes together at the back of your mat. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step it through. Low lunge. Place your right foot in between your hands. It's okay if it takes a few steps there. Root your left hand down into the mat. Option to keep the back knee lifted or lower it down. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky for a low lunge twist. Maybe look up past the right fingertips. Lower the right hands down and push yourself up. Grab your weights rather and then lift yourself up to a high crescent lunge. So front knee is stacked over the front ankle, back heel is lifted, weights are hanging along your side, strong grip in both hands. Beautiful. Bring your weights up and your arms are in a parallel 90 degree angle. So elbows are bent 90 degrees, Forearms are parallel to one another and weights are right in front of your face. Squeeze that low belly in and up, stabilize through the base, and then with control, slowly begin to open the elbows up wide like a book and then close them to in front of you. Let's do that a few more times. Open them up. Here, I'll turn just to show you. And close. Focus on stability on everything from the hips down. Nothing moves from the waist down. Only the arms are moving. With, with control, your breath, your pace. As you open, squeeze the shoulder blades together and then bring them back in front of you. Let's do two more just like that. Open, squeeze, and close. Last one, open. And exhale, close. Beautiful. Release your weights down to your sides, just in case the arms are feeling a little toasty. Inhale, reach the arms directly up above you for a high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Spin the back heel down, find your footing, lower your arms down to a T. Now with weights, I always encourage a nice bend in the elbows. So we're activating through the biceps, squeeze the shoulder blades together and keep your weights palms up. This will make it a little bit easier to hold. You can always lower the weights or release them at any time. Inhale, reverse warrior. Lift your right arm to the sky, strong grip in that weight. Left arm reaches down the back thigh. Beautiful. Maintaining that lunge in the front knee. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward. Place your right arm on the thigh. Punch your left arm to the sky. Strong grip in both weights. Beautiful. Inhale, look down at your front foot. With control, draw your left weight through the shoulder and lower both weights down to the mat. Release your weights and step back to a high plank. Squeeze that low belly in and up. Hold here for a breath. Exhale, lower all the way or halfway down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, all the way to downward facing dog. Beautiful. You always have the option to stop through tabletop on your way. But once you're warmed up, you also have the option to push right into downward facing dog. Beautiful. Bring your toes together at the back of your mat. Inhale, left leg high. Toes point down, heel points up. Lift through the back of the left thigh. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. It can take a couple steps or guide your left foot in between your hands. 
Option to keep the back knee lifted or to lower it down. Root your right hand into the mat next to your left foot. Inhale, lift your left arm to the sky for a low lunge twist. Maybe look up past your left fingertips, opening through the chest, and then lower the left hand down. Beautiful. Grab your weights. Inhale, high lunge, lift the chest, stack your shoulders over your hips, keep your weights at your side. Beautiful. Find stability, both hips point forward, both sets of toes point forward, back heel is lifted. Sink as low as you feel comfortable into that left knee. Beautiful. Okay, so different variation for the weights this time. Bring your weights up so they're right in front of your shoulder blades and then push your weights all the way up above you, stacking them nice and high. Beautiful. Lower your hands down so your weights are directly in front of you. Open them up like a book, just like we did before. But this time, push them all the way above you. So the palms are facing forward Inhale as you lower the weights down to your sides. And then exhale, push them directly back up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Stable base, two more. Lower and lift. Last one, lower and lift. Hold here. Face the palms toward one another. Exhale, warrior two. Spin that back heel down. Arms come to a T, elbows bent, palms up. Sink into that front knee. Hold here. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your left arm high, strong grip in that weight. Right arm down the back thigh. Beautiful. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward. Place the left arm on your thigh. Punch the right weight up above your right shoulder. Beautiful. Strong grip in both weights. Inhale, look down at your front foot. Guide the weight through the shoulder and release both weights down to your mat. Step your left foot back to your right, high plank. Hold her breath, inhale. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way down for Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Always an option to stop through tabletop. Beautiful. All right, so let's do a little bit more. We'll do one more round, adding on some different activities with the weights. Bring your toes together at the back of your mat. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Find your footing, stable base. Grab your weights. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Keep your weights along your side. Shoulders stack up over the hips. Squeeze the low belly in and up. Find that stable footing. Both toes point forward. Beautiful. So this time we'll add an arm variation plus a leg variation. So we're going to Lunge our left knee to hover it above the ground as we bicep curl weights toward shoulder. Lower the weights down, lift the legs up. Just like that. Lower, bicep curl, and lift. Lower the lunge, curl, and lift. Lower with control, hover, curl, and lift. Let's do two more. Lower, curl, and lift. Last one, lower, curl, and lift. 
Beautiful. Inhale, high crescent lunge, arms reach high. Exhale, warrior two. Spin the back heel down. Arms come to a T with bent elbows, palms up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Punch the right arm to the sky. Strong grip with that weight. Nice and slow with control. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward. Place the right arm on the thigh. Left arm punches high. Directly above the shoulder. Strong grip. Inhale, look down and in front of you. Exhale through the shoulder, pivot your weights down to the mat and release them out of your way. Step the, keep your feet where they are and lower your left knee down to the mat. Beautiful. So we're just gonna hold this lunge to stretch out the front of our left hip flexor. So allow your hips to reach forward as much as they feel comfortable to feel a nice stretch in that left hip. Beautiful. Bring your right hand on the inside of your right foot and walk your right foot over to the right side of your mat and maybe up a little bit if you need to, to make space. The ankle should be directly below or slightly in front of your right knee. Lizard lunge. Option to stay up on your palms. If you'd like something a little deeper, you can come down to your forearms, or if you have yoga blocks, you can use those to create a custom level. Feeling a nice stretch again along the front of your left hip flexor, maybe feeling a nice stretch in the right thigh. Beautiful, letting the heart rate come down a little bit. Great job. Frame your front foot. So walk your right hand back to the outside. Walk your foot back to the center of your mat. Half splits. Walk your hips back and point your right toes up. Feel a nice stretch along the back of your right leg, perhaps along the calf. If this feels uncomfortable in the chest, once again, if you have blocks, this is another great opportunity to use them. You can put the blocks underneath your hand. That allows you to lift the chest up more and create more space. So you feel the nice stretch along the back of your right leg. Always handy to have blocks around during yoga. Beautiful. Bend the knee, walk your hands forward, bring your right foot back to meet your left. Push up to a high plank. Hold for the inhale. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way down. Inhale, cobra of choice or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Maybe walk it out if the legs are feeling a little tight. Great job. Bring the toes together at the back of your mat. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it through. Low lunge. Grab your weights. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Weights are still down by your side. Shoulders stacked up above the hips. Find your footing, stable base. And we'll do the same motion on this side as well. So we get lunges on both sides. So lower the right knee down, hover, bicep curl, and push yourself back up, slow with control. Lunge, curl, lift. Lunge, curl, lift. Lunge, curl, lift. Two more, lunge, curl, lift. Last one, lunge, curl, lift. Inhale, high crescent lunge, reach the weights up high. Exhale, warrior two, spin the back heel down. Weights come down to a T, bent elbows. Inhale, reverse warrior, 
Lift your left arm high, right arm down the back thigh, strong grip in both hands. Beautiful. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward. Place your left arm on the thigh, punch the right arm high. Maybe look up past the right weight. Inhale, look down at your front foot. Release the weight through the shoulder and then guide both weights safely to the ground. Lower your back knee down. Hold for a moment here, feeling a nice stretch along the front of your right hip flexor. Beautiful. Bring your left hand on the inside of your left foot for lizard lunge. Walk your left foot out and maybe up a little bit to create a little bit more space for lizard lunge. Option to keep yourself up on your palms or lower down towards your forearms. Trying to match the same level on both sides, but it's okay if you're not quite there. We're not necessarily 100% balanced on both sides. I know we try to get there, but if we're not there yet, that's okay. Breathing into that area in the front right hip flexor. Maybe you're feeling a nice stretch along the left thigh. Relax the head and neck. We are all done with the weights. Beautiful. Bring your left foot back to the center of your mat. Left hand back to the outside for half splits. Walk your hips back, straightening the left knee. Point the left toes to the sky. Once again, if you have a block, these are just so great to create a custom level underneath your hands. Trying to keep the hips level, feeling a nice stretch along the back of the left thigh and the left calf. I also feel it on the back of my left knee too. Holding this for a few breaths. Beautiful. Inhale, slowly walk your hands forward. Bring your left foot back to meet your right. Push yourself up to a high plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Beautiful. Bring your hands down to your sides. Palms face down. Rest your chin on the mat. Relax for just a moment. On your next inhale, locust pose. Lift your chest, feet, and hands up off the mat. Hold for the exhale. Inhale, maybe lift a little bit higher. And exhale, release everything down to the mat. Beautiful. Inhale, bring your hands under your shoulders, push yourself up to tabletop, and then guide your hips all the way back to a child's pose. Slowly relaxing through the low back. Place your forehead on the mat. Adjust your knees wider or more narrow, whatever feels good on the back right now. Beautiful. Inhale, push yourself up to tabletop. Exhale, cat pose, round the spine, tuck your chin, stretch the vertebrae. Inhale, cow pose, look up, point your tailbone up and broaden through the collarbone. Come back to tabletop, guide your legs out in front of you, coming down to a seat and then relax all the way down to your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Gently rock from side to side. Inhale, happy baby. Widen the knees. Bring the soles of your feet flat for the sky. 
Grab the backs of your knees and reach them out and down toward your outer ribs. If this feels really nice, maybe you want a little bit more leverage, you have the option to reach up toward the bottom of your feet, and this will allow you to get a bit of a deeper stretch. Just be mindful that you want your whole spine to stay flat on the mat. So if you start to have your hips or your neck reaching up, curving away from the mat, then you might want to grab a little bit lower so you really get a nice benefit from the posture. Once your spine is flat, maybe start to gently rock from side to side if that feels good. Beautiful. Bring your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a hug. And then extend your left leg long. Grab both hands around your right shin. Draw your right knee out and up toward the right shoulder. Inhale, hold here, wind removing pose. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your right knee across the body. Maybe stack your right hip over the left and reach your right arm out to the side. Turn your gaze past your right fingertips or maybe close your eyes for the remainder of class. Keeping both shoulder blades flat on the mat, feel a nice twist through the spine. You can always ease out of it if you feel like you're going a little too deep. Keep a mindful awareness on your core to protect the spine from twisting more than it naturally wants to today. Inhale as you slowly unwind, bring both knees back into your chest. Give yourself a little hug to realign the spine and then extend your right leg long. Grab both hands around your left shin. Draw your left knee out and up toward your left shoulder. Hold it here. Inhale, wind removing pose. Exhale, supine twist. Guide the left knee across the body. Maybe shimmy your left or your right hip under your left. Reach your left arm out to the side and allow your head to turn toward your left shoulder. Once again, option to keep the eyes closed. Shoulder blades are nice and relaxed flat on the mat. Inhale, slowly come back to center. Bring both knees into your chest. Give yourself one more tight squeeze. Maybe bring your forehead to your knees, get into a tight little ball. Give yourself the biggest hug you've had all day. Inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release Shavasana. Extend your arms and legs out long and wide. Allow your toes to flop open. Be mindful if your weights are anywhere near your feet. Relax your shoulders down your back. Take up as much space as you can. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, open mouth, sigh it out. And then begin to release each muscle group throughout the body. Relax your toes, the balls of your feet, your arches, and your heels. Relax through your ankles, your calves, your kneecaps, and your thighs. Relax through your hips, your glutes, 
the front of your hip flexors, that whole middle trunk area that supports your body all day long. Just let it sink into your mat. Relax through your belly, soften through the chest and allow your whole spine to feel supported by the earth beneath you. Relax your fingertips, your palms, your wrists, and your forearms. Relax through your elbows, your biceps, and your triceps. Soften through your shoulders, your shoulder blades, and your neck. Relax through your jaw, your forehead, and soften your eyelids. Allow yourself to release all control and effort in the body. Begin to take a slightly deeper breath in through the nose and exhale, sigh it out. On your next inhale, slowly reach your arms up over your head for a wall to wall stretch. Get long, get lean, and then draw your knees slowly up into your chest for one last hug. Gently rock from side to side and fall over on your favorite side. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly push yourself up to a seat. Cross your legs. Root down through your sit bones, bring your palms together, plug your thumbs into your chest, sit tall, sit proud. Take a deep inhale through the nose. May we look inward for validation and acceptance. Inhale, draw your thumbs to your lips. May we speak words of truth, kindness, and encouragement. Inhale, draw your thumbs to your third eye center, our space of introspection and reflection. May we be the change we wish to see in this world. Take a deep inhale to fill yourself with love and light, and exhale to share it with the world. Namaste. I really hope you enjoyed your class today. If you like these videos, be sure to like and subscribe the YouTube channel and I will be popping into your inbox at any time. I would also love it if you joined us on our Facebook community page and you can sign up for the weekly newsletter at kalaniyoga.com. Thank you so much for being here.